Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some great time together. See, today we are trying to understand who is Allah and what is Allah is made of. Before we go there, let us show you how Muslims they try to answer and how to tell us about themselves and what they accept, what they reject. Uh, before I start, I'm going to show you some comments made by Muslims, Muhammadans. And the, 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 the weird thing is that Muslims are people who like logic. I mean, Muslims are very logical people. Uh, as an example here, this person, he's trying to explain to you why Muslims, they reject the Trinity. So he said the Trinity, one God, A, is the Father, B, uh, two God, uh, A, is also the Son, C, uh, but the Father, uh, B, is not the Son. I mean, the, the stupidity is really amazing. A person who believed that he have a God, he have five fingers, He's trying to explain it by A and B and C. Okay, Allah have five fingers, A. Allah have a shin, B. Allah have a face, D. I mean, what else? and what we will what we will end? Allah is not like anything. So Allah have a hands, Allah have a shin, Allah have a face, Allah have five fingers, Allah have two hands at the right side. All, you know, all of this is okay, but God can be three, it's impossible, but look, the refutation of this we showed you before how Ibn Hazm, a very famous uh, Muslim uh, cleric, uh, even the Spanish they made a statues for him actually because he's an idiot of the village. You know, we like him. He destroyed Islam and he said it clearly that uh, can Allah destroy Tawheed? This is the book of Al Ahkam, Ibn Hazm, Ibn Hazm, verse number four, page number 450. And he is teaching, he is trying to fight supposedly, supposedly the Christians, the Trinity. And he said, can Allah destroy Tawheed, which means monotheism? The answer, yes. If you say no, if you say no, if you say that Allah cannot destroy or demolish monotheism, then you are saying that he, uh, uh, he can uh, uh, do that. Uh, like you know uh, this God what he can do what he cannot do can he do and he if he do that then he is unjust and he is a crazy you should know that if you say that you are wrong and you are speaking against Allah because you are making Allah unable to do so and you are controlling Allah which means controlling his behavior and you became a judge over Allah who created you and saying that, that will make you a person who became a kafir. So if you say that God cannot destroy, I'm talking about Allah now, destroy what? Destroy himself as a monotheist God and make himself many gods. If you say he cannot, that's mean you are a stupid and you are a kafir. Who says that? Their books. So Mr. A, B, C, D, how come you don't look at what you have? This is your religion. Can Allah destroy himself and make himself many? The answer yes. And you Muslim, you call the name for it. Actually, you are the Muslims who remind me of this guy. And if you don't accept that Allah can destroy monotheism, your scholar saying that make you a kafir and make you a mushrik. You are not a Muslim no more. وَالشُّرْكُ mahd. And he continues saying, but we say, that Allah, the excellent Allah, He is able to destroy Tawheed, monotheism. By the way, Tawheed as again is a wrong word because Tawheed means unifying. So how you can unify someone is already one. That's stupid. So using the word Tawheed is a wrong word. Tawheed is not a word to use for monotheism. It's a stupid word, but eh, that's what they have. And if you say that Allah cannot destroy Tawheed, and he don't, he cannot order to worship two or three, or even worship idols. If you say that, and if he do, and he do, if he do that, he is refuting the guy who is he's talking to. If you say he, if he do that, uh, 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 he cannot do that. Uh, you, you, you are ignoring the fact uh, that he is still just, and he is wise, and he is teaching the truth. So, if Allah says worship three, Allah is telling the truth. 
If Allah says worship idols, Allah is saying the truth and he is just. <laughs> See the stupidity? So the, the rejection is what? Is what Allah said. If Allah said do worship idols, that means still he is just. How in the world he is just and he is asking you to worship idols? Isn't it this is wrong? Well, obviously what is wrong and what's right in Islam is what Allah say. Not, not if it's wrong or not. If Allah say do this, that's the right thing to do. Even if it's wrong. This is what the Muslim scholars they are saying to us. And he is saying, and if Allah he do that, uh, he is he is for sure doing if Allah he order you to worship two or three or even worship idols as you see and we we, are, we can use Google translation to show you still Allah actually let's use Google translation give me a second still Allah is a just and wise and I'm starting with this book for a reason ah, this link now is not working I post it in Google uh, a browser yeah we need to operate in different website so if you say that Allah cannot do that then you are a kafir and you are saying that Allah is not just and he is unjust and he is crazy you know so the Muslims confirm to us that yes Allah can destroy monotheism and he can teach you something else including worshiping idols and again this is the book to Ibn Hazm Verb number four, page number 450. Now, who is this Allah who can destroy monotheism? We Christian, when we say we believe in a trinity, we still believe in one God. So, it is a stupid to say God number one, God number two, God number three. We don't have three gods, we have one God. Even your stupid Quran says that the Christians say that the Messiah is Allah. Then if we ask the one who wrote the Quran. Supposedly Allah is the one who made the Quran. Okay, if the Messiah who is Allah, according to the Christians, who is the second person and who is the third person? Any Muslim can tell us? Huh? If the Messiah is the Christian belief that the Messiah is Allah. So where is the three? Here you notice that Islam is a stupid cult, do not even understand Christianity, and even in different verses, uh, the Quran says, which supposedly Allah, Aka Muhammad, saying that the Christian worship Mary and Jesus and Allah. But here he's saying, no, they worship Allah and they think he is the Messiah. But it cannot be both. When you say that the Messiah is Allah, that's mean you are saying the Messiah, which is according to Christians, he is the son, he is the same person as the father. You see how stupid the Quran is? So a very simple study to the Quran, you will find that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot of the village. He has no idea what Christians believe. And here you ask yourself a question, how come he is God, but he is short in knowledge in something that's very, very simple. Even Muslims who make comment in YouTube, they have way more knowledge about Allah, about, about Christianity, because they just said to you, the son, the, 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 the father, the Holy Spirit. If you look at the comment, the Muslim, he posts for us, you will find that the Muslim himself, he posted that the Christian believe in the father, the son, the Holy Spirit. The Quran nowhere mentioned that the Christian believe in such a thing. So a dummy in YouTube, he knew more than the, the biggest dummy ever, Allah Aka Muhammad. Now we go back to the topic. Who is Allah? Who is this God who Allah? First, let us see a little description about Allah so we can understand Allah. And the best who describe Allah is the Muslims. I mean, we, we Christians, we don't believe in Allah. And uh, by the way, some some uh, funny people, they say to you in the in the text, do you know that in the Bible, in the Arabic Bible, it says the word Allah? This is translation, stupid translation. The same as you Muslim, you have the word Jesus in the English translation, but in the, in the, uh, in the Arabic Quran, there's nowhere the word Jesus is mentioned. Nowhere the word Yeshua or Yeshua is mentioned. You have a guy, his name is Isa, who is Isa? We do not know. 
So Jesus as a word in the English translation is a false translation. Allah in the Bible is a false translation. And you know, our differences is not about the name. Let us say the Muslim changed the name of their God. They call him Jesus. Still, he is not the same. <laughs> Let us see who is this Allah. Listen carefully. A Muslim cleric is explaining Allah to us. No. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al Rahman, Wayabaka wajhu rabbika. Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. You idiot, recite the Quran. What's wrong with you? Hey, brothers and sisters, recite the Quran. Let us see who is Allah. Allah is one God, but look at this one God, how he look like. Look and laugh with me. Remember, he is not a man. Allah is not a man. Allah is not a man. But he have five fingers. He have a shin. He have a face. He have two hands. But he's not a man. Don't devote five minutes a day, ten minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half, to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now yeah, if you devote an hour a day, you will leave Islam, I guarantee you. I will show you soon. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created. And he does not die. And he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Like what the heck? Allah will show his leg? Allah have hands, Allah have a face, have eyes, Allah will lift his leg. I'm truly convinced now that this is God. Yet if you ask them who is Allah, they will say nothing like him. Well, how nothing like him? He have a leg. The second you say I have a leg, I have a leg too. If you say his leg is not like mine, still it's a leg. That's why it's called leg. It's mean he walk in it. If you say he have hands, that mean he have hand. So when the Muslims they say nothing like Allah, is it nothing like Allah as a look? Is it nothing like Allah as a nature? Well, he have five fingers, what do you do with fingers? I challenge any Muslim to show us in the comment later to tell us why Allah have five fingers. Give me a reason. I mean, okay, I am as a human being, I have five fingers. Monkeys have five fingers. Allah have five fingers, why? Is he a human being? Did he come like a human being? He came to us as like Jesus, he came to us as a human being? Why Allah have a, you know, they have no answer. Why Allah have a shin? What he would do with his shin? His shin is made from what? How we will see Allah? How we recognize Allah? We recognize him from his shin. And this is your scholar saying that, not me. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers would prostrate and the hypocrites will try to prostrate and their back goes one. Uh, my back is hurting me. I must be the, the hypocrite. You know, if, uh, the, all the Muslims, they will go down to the shin. Have you ever heard of a people worship a God? He is a shin. A shin. Right? 
peace and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has, that Allah Azza wa has fingers. When he says, O oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers. You flip them as you wish. O oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on. These attributes, one would say, Akhi, this is similar to humans. How can we say this to Allah? As I say, I seek Allah's forgiveness. You seek Allah's forgiveness. So I would say to those who claim this, Akhi, this word is known, but the meaning is different. When I say that an elephant has a leg, and I have a leg, mm. and an ant has a leg, mm. are the legs di similar? Yes, they walk on them, you and the elephant and the ant, you idiot. You see the stupidity? Supposedly now he's trying to fix it. After he made the big poo, poo now he is fixing it. Okay, the elephant have a leg, the ant have a leg, I have a leg. Is it this? Yes, it's a leg. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine the stupidity? So we learn from the first scholar that Allah can destroy Tawheed. He can make himself, he can smack, smash himself by sledgehammer and he make himself many gods. Even he can order you to worship idols, still he is just. Allah have eyes, Allah have shin, Allah have five fingers, Allah have a face, Allah have a butt, Allah have a bum, Allah blah, 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 blah. It's okay. But Allah is not a man. But if we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying Allah is a man. This is Muhammad. The one who changed his name and called himself the praised one because he want to be God. He said, if you are confused about how Allah look like, you know, about the Dajjal. You see, one of the funny Muslims in the chat, he said that the Dajjal is not the opposite of Allah. You idiot, here we go, your prophet says that. He said that the Dajjal is not the opposite of Allah. And please allow me to use the word idiot just to level you up. Because usually I use different words. I'm respecting you now. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. The, who is the Dajjal? Is the false Messiah, the one who claimed to be the Messiah. He is not Antichrist. This is like a fabricated translation. al Masihu Dajjal, the word Dajjal in Arabic, it means a liar. So he is the Messiah at Dajjal. What does that mean? The Messiah, the liar, which means the fake one. I am afraid that you are not understand. You don't understand, may not, may not understand. That the Dajjal is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed and one eye sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, you know that your Lord is not one eyed. Hmm? Look at this. So Allah, Allah is short. Allah is hinted. Allah is woolly haired. Allah is have two eyes. This guy he have only one difference between him and Allah. And look, the hadith here, to be accurate, should compare between the false messiah and the true messiah. But Muhammad, he compared the false messiah, the one who is a man. He is a man. He is coming as a man. So why the Muslim, they will think he is God? Why the Muslim, they will think he is Allah? And how they will be confused by his look? And how they recognize that he is the fake one from the look too? He have one eye. So Muhammad, he confirmed to us that he is a man. But hold on. This man is not alive, he's dead. Who is he? If you debate a Muslim, he will say to you, I don't know how many of you heard, heard them saying, anthropophobic uh, verses, why they criticize? Uh, just go stupid, Abdul. I mean, look, look, what, look what we are talking about. Look what they are talking about. I mean, they have no answer. And look at the answer. Explain answer of four barbaric verses in the Bible. Why do you criticize something found in your tradition? <laughs> you see, this is what I told you. When you heard their feeling, they switched to different topic. In my Bible, there is people who they are speaking. In your Quran, the shaitan is speaking. 
In my Bible too, Shaitan, he spoke to God. So are you going to say, God said this, or you say, Shaitan said this? There's a man he speak. The man he speak, then the man is speaking. So if David he speak, he spoke. This is David, not God. So you are silly like your prophet. Keep drinking camel urine. And this is the best advice of medicine in the 21st century. So when Muhammad compared between the false, uh, false Dajjal, false Messiah and Allah, he just admitted that Allah is coming, he's a man, and Muslim, he's afraid, look, he's afraid that the Muslim will be confused. Just to show you another lies they try to promote to us. When we go in the Quran, you will see a Muhammadan, when we speak about Trinity, he says to, you know, uh, 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 Allah is Ahad. Allah is Ahad. And they say that Ahad is not an idol. They say Allah is a Samad. This is the chapter, chapter 112. I mean, look at this chapter. This is a chapter. I mean, what is this guy? He was like a bird doing poo poo. I mean, have you ever heard of a chapter? It's just a few sentences. Okay. They lie in the translation. They say, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. They say, Ahad mean one. But if you take the word Ahad and put it in the search engine, you will find that the word Ahad mean always one off, not one. Ahadu tullab, ahadu asatida, ahadu ahad mean one off. And then here you will see Allah is a samad. Who is a samad? Who is a samad? If you go to the interpretation of a chapter 7, verse number 70, and this is the Muslim website. It says here, this is Ibn Kathir. Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Ishaq, he said that the people of Hud used to worship several idols such as Suda and Samud. Samud. Is that a correct translation? Let us go to the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Just to show you the fraud of this cult. Look what happened. They used to worship an idol. One is called Sada, and the one is called Samud. What is the word Samud? It's gone. If we go to the books, which is photocopy. Photo what? Photocopy. What we will find? We will find the fraud. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir, variant number two, page number two, three, four. And look at the corruption of the Islamic propaganda machine trying to hide the truth. Ask yourself, why in the Islamic website translation and in the government USA, sorry, government of Saudi Arabia translate, uh, uh, Arabic, the word Samad is gone? Read it. وقد ذكر محمد بن إسحاق وغيره أنهم كانوا يعبدون أصناما فصنم يقول يقال له صمد. Okay, and the second one is called صمود. Wonderful. Okay. Let us take a screenshot. Why this word is taken off from the other Muslim website? We will put them next to each other. Hmm? Any Muslim can tell us? What happened? Where is the word Samad? What happened? Who took it off? Samad is a name of an idol and the Arab before Islam used to worship it. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ صمد. Say Allah is Samad. In a miraculous way, in the Islamic government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the word Samad disappear. Look what it says. صَنَمْ يُقَلُّهُ صَدَّاءُ 
Where is Sadda here? There's no Sadda, there's Samad. This Samad is exactly the same word in the Quran. One is called Samad and the second one is called Samud. In the Islamic website, we find the word Samud, but they change the word Samad to Sada. And this is a photocopy of Ibn Kathir book. Allah is an idol. He was always and he is. His name is Samad. This is a photocopy of the book. And actually, here we go. This is an Islamic website to have the have the true Ibn Kathir. It is Samad, as you see in front of your eyes. If we go and search for the book in Google Books, which is published by Muslims, let me find it. Where is Google Book? Here we go. This is Google Book. This is the same book of Nikathir as you see in the corner. All right. And if we go here in the page, it says, I advise all Muslims, those who speak Arabic to read with me, to check if we are saying the truth or not. Does it say that they used to worship a god, an idol, his name is Samad? Let us see. This is exactly the line. Actually, let us zoom in. Let us make it bigger. All right, wonderful, now it's clear. It says here, and as you see, this is Google Book, photocopy as it is. They used to worship an idols, one of them called Samad, and the other one's called Samud. So what happened to the Muslim website, the government of Saudi Arabia, where is the word Samad? It's gone. Because having that word there would expose that Islam, say clearly that Allah is a Samad. And what is a Samad? Samad is an empty Billy God. This is coming from the Aramaic language. If I search right now, let me do this for images. I'm trying to remember what they call it. Here we go. This is Allah, the original idea of Allah the Samad. Give me a second.
Now, this is here an image of a, of a pig. We are not saying that Allah is a pig, no. But we are just giving you an idea. He is a God who have an open belly hole and people, they insert donation inside him when they pray to him. Samad. This is coming from the Aramaic word Masmud. Or Samada, or Samad, where you go and you save for tomorrow, and this idol have an open space, and obviously there's a door from behind. The one who is playing the scam, you know, he take the money from the back. So you insert the money from the front. They have a door in his back, in his bum. They open the door. They take the money. Allah is a Samad. So what we learn from Muslims, and this is Muslims only, that Allah is a Samad, and the Arab, they used to worship a person, a god, an idol. His name is a Samad. And as you see, this is Ibn Kathir. And this is not me saying that. And they tried to hide it, but too late. The book is already published all over. You know, this is, this is a stupid idea, actually, to try to hide it. I mean, how stupid you are trying to take it off. And remember, this is not a Muslim transla translation. This is not a wrong translation. This is Arabic as it is. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And Ibn Kathir is copying from other people too. Because remember, Ibn Kathir, he came 800 years. I mean, Ibn Kathir, he is a moderate, supposedly, a scholar compared to the rest. But he is copying from the earliest Muslims. So, Allah is what? Allah is a shin, Allah is a hand, Allah is a foot, Allah is five fingers, Allah is an idol, his name is a summit. If you look at the Muslim comment after we finish this video, you will find all kinds of comments, none of them have to do with the topic. And this is how Muslims, they answer you, by avoiding the topic. By what? Avoiding the topic. Let us not to answer him about what we are saying. Okay, why it says there is an idol, his name is Samad, and why it is not in the Islamic website no more, most of it. Why you change it from Samad to Sada? What is the purpose of this corruption? If you remember just two days ago, we were trying to find you what it says about the story of Muhammad bowing down to the three daughters of Allah. Three daughters of Allah. We open Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we find that Ibn Kathir in Arabic is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. And today is no different. If we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will find they took it off. They said there's a idol, his name is Samud. Where is Samad? Here it should say Samad wa Samud. Why it's gone? Now to understand more about the God of Islam, we have to go and study more verses so we can learn more. And remember, we are showing you only Muslim website. And we are showing you Muslims text. We are showing you Muslims interpretation. None of this is a Christian word. None of them. So if we go and try to understand more, we go to chapter 36, verse number one. Look at this madness. Allah said, Ya Sin. What is the interpretation? Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. And then every Muslim, he tried to give you his own interpretation because Islam is, is a joke. Ya Sin, Ya is a word being God. Sin is the name of the God. Go right now and search in Google, God Sin. 
Actually, today you're in English, you're using the word sin as a word mean wrong. For this is pagan. When you say sin, you say this is pagan. So Christians, they decided to use, let us say in their language, as a uh, like Latin language, when you say sin, that means this is pagan. This is bad. This is what sin mean. The God of Muhammad and his name is sin. And the, the, the Quran is so good book to the point that we can explain it to you so easy. To the point we say, Allah knows best what he meant by those, but this is not a letter. Does it say it's a letter? Where it says this is a letter? Uh, how come the companions in Ibn Kathir never have? I just showed you Ibn Kathir. I mean, look at this, uh, this, look at this joker. How old are you? Obeyed Allah. This is Ibn Kathir, the companion of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is quoting the, the, the previous ones. And you are saying to me, how come the, the companion of the Ibn Kathir? What companion? What do you do to you? You see, we show them their own books, they cry. How come? Ask yourself. I don't know. Ask yourself. Just get some tissues. How come? How come? This is the answer. And who said to you they did not? Otherwise, Ibn Kathir, he get it from where? Ibn Kathir was not exist in the time of your prophet, so he get it from where? He even quote for you in the in the reference. He says to you, Ibn Ishaq, you idiot. And this is one of the earliest Muslims who made tafsir. Who come? Who come? Who come? How come? Who who? <laughs> you tell me how come? And then if we go to different verse in the Quran, just to show you the, the stupidity of this, this religion. Our God is not a man. Our God is not a man. And then Allah have a shame. Yes, Allah, Allah have, Allah, our God have a shame. Allah have a fingers. The fingers God. Even Muhammad in the Hadith says, how you recognize Allah, he said, by his shin. By what? By his shin, not by anything. I mean, have you ever heard of a God is recognized by his shin. And not only that, Muhammad, he said clearly that Allah, not only he looked like the false Messiah, which is the false, uh, false Messiah, he's a man, obviously, he looked like a man, he's coming as a man. He said that Allah, he will come in a shape other than they saw first time. So Allah not only confirmed to be a person with shape and shin and fingers and hands, Allah is a changeable. Allah is what? He is a changeable. He changed his shape. If you ever watched a movie, it's called The Transformer. This is Allah. You see the word shape? Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you saw first time. Muslims, when you saw the when you saw Allah first time. All those hadith in front of us, they are accurate. Read carefully with me. Read and try not to laugh. This is religion, and this is God. Well, you know, we don't accept Jesus as God because he is in the shape of a man. You don't accept Allah as God too. For he came to you in a shape you don't like. Read carefully. Focus with me, uh, Abdul. Focus, focus. Instead of putting yourself in the chat, try to focus once in your lifetime. So if we go here and read this, Allah will come to them. Allah, then the Almighty, read carefully. The Almighty will come to them in the shape. Who is talking Muhammad, not the Christian prince, not Ibn Kathir, not Al-Qurtubi, not Al-Tabari, not a Jalalain. This is Muhammad himself. Muhammad is a liar, obviously. Muslim will not accept that. And the proof in front of you. Look, Allah, he will come to them in a shape other than they saw first time. So Allah is a shape. He changed his shape. Do you see it? Allah is a shape. Changeable shape is not a fixed one. 
Allah is not a fixed God who you cannot change his shape. He can change his shape. Who is saying that? Muhammad. So Allah will come to them in a shape. And will come to them in a shape other than the, the one which they saw first time. Muslims, when you saw Allah first time? This is a question Muhammad cannot answer. And he will say, who will say Allah? I am Allah, your Lord. What the Muslim will say to him? Get lost, Abdul. Idiot liar. We are going to...